Hi, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a flip through of Mathcraft Level A Book 3. I'm going to go ahead and show you each of the books first, but we're going to flip through this one. So this one is Level A. Whoops, let's start with book one. This is Level A um, Book 1. And then this is Level A Book 2. And this one's on Edition. Then you have level A book three, subtraction. And this is the one we're gonna actually look at. And then we have book four, which mine is blank. Um, but this one is advanced addition and subtraction. And it looks like this. Mine just did not print with the cover. I don't know why. And so that's the fourth. And then the last one, is the multiplication level B. So those are all the books. I'm just gonna move those out of the way. And we are going to look at this one. I had mine printed at the, um, I think it's the Homeschool Printing Company. Isn't this so beautiful? I love this cover. I love everything about it. And this is going to, this is a thick book. I had mine printed single pages, but you could have yours um, printed double-sided, three-hole punched, instead of spiral bound, making it easier to make copies. Because um, the way I like to do things is I like to have the book printed, and then that way I could flip through it, look through it, and then if there's a page I need printed, then I would go to the computer and print it out. That's just how my brain works, and it works for me that way. How does MathCraft work? And this information will also be on the Fun Schooling website. Instructions for parent, parents and teachers about the logic games. How to explain the lessons and playing the games. Game making supply list. And these are the art and logic pages and they're fun. Section one, printing games making pages. Print the next 10 game making pages on cardstock. Keep them in a safe place to use when you need them. So these, this is kind of like getting ready. And what I mean um, when I said I did mine single-sided, I didn't have to do that because there's this, I ended up having this blank page here. And I think that's so you could do double-sided and not have this and this on the same page. So these are the domino pieces, and here are some cards. Instructions for making number cards is in section three. And then this one's dice and dominoes, two to four. I think that's probably two to four or players like points and points and round it says for lessons two and three this one's for lesson four lesson five for lesson seven, first game. And the signs of math craft. So, you know, like this teaching tip and what it means and so forth. Number logic. Section two, math craft games. Do one to three daily lessons each week. Lesson one, subtraction facts to four. So as you notice, it says do one to three daily lessons each week. So it's not like you do one lesson a day. Add. Lesson two. I think the camera is okay. 
I'm kind of going to go through this a little bit fast. It's just a quick flip through to give you an idea what the inside looks like. I like how it says you can do it. Subtraction from five. One says review the exchange move clear the deck lesson seven subtraction from six number bonds I'm just kind of going through this I'm on the fast side. Lesson nine, number bonds to six. Subtraction from seven. Lesson 13. Building tens. Takeaway. Dice and dominoes. Building elevens. Extra number logic games. And again, some of these are in dyslexia games, and I believe some aren't. It's been a long time since I've looked at, been through all the dyslexia games, but they're similar. And then just for fun, invent your own games or color squares to make a pattern. You can do like pixel art on these. Draw in color, section three, instructions for making games. Draw in color, have to add and count on the abacus. Again, I'm sorry if I'm going a little bit speedy here. Drawing color, and there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great day. Bye.